Hi, Thomason. I'm Mike Manalo from the Nerds of Color. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Thank you. Uh, I just want to say it is a real honor to speak with you. Um, just between Leave No Trace, Jojo Rabbit, and now Last Night in Soho, you really are one of the best act young actors working today. And uh, I just, I just got to say it's brilliant. <laughs> thank you. I really appreciate that. Of course. Of course. Um, one of the things I love about this movie is it is... It is a fascinating and stunning and brilliant indictment, really, of toxic masculinity and the way that it affects folks with the potential trauma that it could cause. Um, that's the way that I saw it. And I wanted to ask, was that something that you also saw? And what do you hope um, is the message that folks kind of get from this movie or the theme? <laughs> I think um, that isn't something necessarily that I picked up on while we were filming it. It was such a, you know so much happens in the film it was such a full shoot that I wasn't quite able to see it from a big picture point of view um so I didn't necessarily notice how um yeah how much of a fem feminist kind of me too film it it is I suppose um but I definitely noticed when I watched it for the first time and that's something that my team that's the first thing my team commented on um when they watched it um was how strong that female voice is um which is really exciting um yeah I mean I think Edgar often says that you know he is so knowledgeable of like films from the 60s um but you don't often see that you don't often see that in 60s films you know um it's often from the male gaze so it, it's great to have this film that is half set in the 60s from that point of view and the reason that it has such a strong voice is because you carry it so you and Anya are, are fantastic in carrying it so that's wonderful to have um if I may say um if, if I can also ask, um, one of the things I loved was it felt like you and Anya were intentionally separated for a lot of the, the shoot. And I don't know if that's true or not, but um, you guys mirror each other so beautifully and the way that Edgar kind of puts it all together is great. What was that like for you? Um, kind of just separate, being separated or was it difficult and, you know, capturing the motions and mirroring each other? Was that hard? Well, actually, in the scenes that we had together, we were... Um, oftentimes we were like looking right at each other and like with the mirror shots with the kind of mimicking imitating each other shots um we would actually be doing that in real life it wouldn't be a mirror it would be like you know an empty frame and I'd be on one side and then you would be on the other side and would be mimicking each other that way um so the scenes that we did have together they were actually quite intimate um so yeah I know we definitely yeah we got to spend a good amount of time with each other and it was really wonderful very cool and last rapid fire question if Edgar came to your door and asked you to do another Edgar Wright stamp film what would your answer be yes. big yes <laughs> Absolutely. Well, phenomenal job, phenomenal movie. Thank you so much. And you are such a brilliant actress to speak with and to watch. So thank you so much. Thank you. Nice talking to you. Talking to you too as well. Pop culture with a different perspective. Watch it on your screen. Hit play, so check this.